check this out. This is very, very interesting. Perez, you understand the loss of her to her fans? It's tremendous. And not only to them, but to me. But they want to know why you killed her. I won't discuss that. Why not? Because the truth is not out. So tell it. Not in the court of law. You've had your day in court. Why didn't you tell it then? I was not given an opportunity to defend myself. I was represented, which is different. Yolanda, at that time, your life depended on it. If there is this information that if it doesn't exonerate you, at least gives context as to why Selena Quintanilla is dead, why would you not have demanded that that be presented in court to spare your life? If I knew then what I know now, you can rest assured that my trial wouldn't have gone the way it is, or that it was. I can assure you that. During the course of a two-hour interview, Yolanda was continually evasive, bolstering the public image that she's clever, cunning, and manipulative. While her conviction is on appeal, Yolanda's reluctance to answer certain questions is understandable. But then, as the interview continues, she jumps at an opportunity to supposedly tell all. This is a letter that your family has said you received here in prison. Is it? Mm-hmm. Behind the Music was given two letters by the Saldivar family prior to this interview. They are allegedly from a man named Lorenzo Salinas, who Yolanda says she and Selena met while doing business in Mexico in early 95. The Texas Department of Corrections confirms the letters were mailed from outside the prison. But during an exhaustive seven-month investigation, Behind the Music was unable to find Lorenzo Salinas or confirm his existence. He tells me exactly what I've been saying all along. Which is what? That he feels his conscience is killing him because he knows the truth and he knows that he feels that, or he thinks that I have things that will eventually say it all. And Do you? Yes. Yolanda claims that two weeks prior to the murder, she discovered videotapes damaging to Selena's career. And that. Just think. Yolanda knows something. She could not say it at the time. She was afraid of Abraham. Could this be the actual footage of the ritual abuse? Could this be something that could incriminate certain people? Now, think about what I just said in my earlier videos concerning the possibility that someone else was responsible for Sylvia's death. And I think you know what I'm talking about. If you like this video, give it a like and follow. This is Dare to Speak.